Hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, Tabor Talk, doing this one inside. Boy, we had some storm out there, and it's still pretty cold. So getting right into this, my boy David Pacman is feeling some heat over really bullshit. Um, he tweeted this a couple of days ago. He actually has since removed it. By the way, I don't think he should have removed it. If you see it clearly, you know what he's saying, right? So these right-wing assholes, Don Jr., Candace Owens, I think Matt Gates or whatever, are all going after him. Oh, they're even going after the advertisers that uh, that David Pakman is evil and he's he's you know stating that uh, these kids didn't pray enough and they're dying. We looking at the tweet, you know exactly what he's saying, right now. Is the tweet snarky? Yes, yes, absolutely. That's David Pakman. Little insensitive? Absolutely. So he's guilty of being snarky, sort of insensitive, but it's it's clear. Uh, I mean, listen, I'm born and raised a Christian, Catholic. I'm not offended by this. Everyone questions this, right? Like, isn't it crazy? Like, if you believe all you need is prayer... And there you go, at a Christian school. It's like, of course, everyone thinks this. It's just, you can't understand. And the, and, and the problem is, right-wingers always say, no, I don't, they, they're not going to do anything about guns, right? No regulation. It's always like more prayer. They're just so full of shit. They are so fucking full of shit. And they're not even religious. The Trumps aren't religious. It's fucking stupid. It's all dirty, ugly politics. Let me play a little bit of... David Pakman here. I'm just going to show the phone here. Later on, I'll put it, insert it, and I'll put the whole thing in the comment section. But check this out. Let me I'm watching the final four, so let me turn this down here. My Yanks lost today. They almost pulled it out, but they lost 7-5. So anyway, here we go. Donald Trump Jr. has now attacked me and unleashed a hate mob against me. Candace Owens is in on it. The Blaze, InfoWars. How far is this going Info to go? Wars, all because Jones. of a tweet that I since deleted, which all of you he understood perfectly. Exactly. I had tweeted about the shooting in Nashville, tongue in cheek, of course, not literally blaming the victims of the shooting, something I would never do. You see the tweet there? That it's surprising that there would be a shooting at a Christian school, given that it's a Christian school and they pray. Every single one of you in my audience understood the point of the tweet. Absolutely. Thoughts and prayers don't prevent mass shootings. But right-wingers, people who don't know me, all sorts of different folks looking to contrive controversy and send hate my way are saying, but David, you're blaming the victims. You're blaming children. Of course I'm not. And in fact, you're after only deleting the tweet because of the number of threats that rain down upon me, I put out a video, a video where I said my tweet angered about a million people. And I explained the entire thing. And of course, that video has almost 100% likes. And mm -hmm. it has you, my viewers, who say, David, there's not even a controversy here. It's insane that they even turned this exactly. into something. But well, let did. me just say this. When I said stupid people and people who know better, they, they know he's he, they know what he's saying. They're just being fucking pricks. All they are doing is manipulating their fucking ignorant base. That's all they're doing. That's all that Fox News does. They laugh behind their backs. No, let's face it. Fox News, all the personalities, the pun upon its Carlson and Hannity. They laugh at you. The, the right-wingers, they have so much contempt for you. They know that, you know, you're stupid and uneducated. And they laugh at you. Let me continue on. And now this represents the greatest existential threat to the David Pakman show that we have ever faced. That is not an exaggeration. Sure. They are going after our advertisers, even though they claim to be fucking... against that tactic. They are uh, making threats not only to me, but to others in my circles. I won't even do details because I might just encourage them more. The situation has reached a fever pitch. Mm -hmm. Don Jr. tweeting yesterday. This guy is such a fucking loser. Imagine being this big of a POS to his nearly really? 10 million you followers. Unfortunately, this is what many on the left think of you. If you have traditional American views, traditional and don't yeah, follow yeah. blindly and capitulate to their every lunatic whim, truly evil at this point. Of course, if by traditional American views, Don Jr. means doing nothing 
about mass shootings, which is exactly what he and his... By the way, Don Jr.'s not a fucking Christian. (laughs) Neither is the the father. That's all bullshit. Oh, hold up. All right, let me continue. Father's administration did and want to do. Then, yeah, that's not for me. Evil scum. And, of course, then the hate mob descended. And it wasn't just Don Jr. Candace Owens devoted a segment on her show to this where she was almost in tears over my tweet. Yeah, right. Posting to Twitter, quote, more left-wing She's the worst of the worst. David Pakman is laughing at the fact that the dead children are Christians who believe in prayer. These are real tweets. These people think it's funny. She is absolute scum of the earth. No, I think it's tragic. Just a... when thoughts and prayers are the only thing offered by Republican officials. Mm. And you she- talk about first rate grifters, Candace Owens. She is absolute slime. All right, but anyway, do you hear the last week the controversy about the the going after people in a wheelchair wheelchair, like disabled people? There were a lot of tweets. Like she's a, she's a scumbag. Anyway, let me continue on. He is even going after our advertisers, and this is where this is getting genuinely bad. I wish it wasn't, but it is. Candace Owens adding, to any of your advertisers who may be following this, this is not a contrived mob or anti-Semitism. This is you dealing with the consequences of sending the most horrifically bigoted tweet directed at dead Christian children, who, according to you, should have prayed harder. Of course... That's not the point. The point is thoughts and prayers don't work. Who wants to actually do something about the scourge of gun gun violence? And yes, it's a scourge. That's how Trump says it. And now I say it the same way. Instead of scourge, scourge. Jenna Ellis getting in on it. This is a horrific take that the author didn't walk back. Just said he's now getting harassed, so deleted it. David Pakman, you harassed Christians and should apologize for this offensive tweet targeting our sincere faith. No, I'm targeting anyone who says thoughts and prayers and nothing else. Right. Jenna Ellis says evil persists and we don't represent prayer as a complete oh, shield to so the perils sick. of the fallen world. But rather than through faith in Christ, we can accept salvation and live it. I mean, it just, it just you know, religious babble now. Yeah. Thessalonians tells us, give me a break. The right wing blaze writing an article. The about last this. one. They were the praying in. enough. Progressive radio host goes that. viral over vile reaction to Christian school massacre. Could you imagine? Thoughts and prayers don't stop mass shootings. Okay. That's the point. I'll, I'll put the rest it, in the comment section. It's just such, such bullshit. They know what they're doing. They're just evil. These people are evil, and they have total contempt for their audience. All right. So I'm sure Dave will be okay. Uh, he's Absolutely fantastic. Love Pacman all the time. The guys I watch, I think I mentioned this before, David Pacman, all his videos, Kyle Kalinsky, um, and then Kyle and his new wife, um, their Crystal Ball. I love that. Love Kyle and Crystal. They, the breaking points is good. Um, there's some, ah, you, you know, <laughs> you know what I watch with some others too. Brian Tyler Cohen's very good. So a bunch of good shows. Rogan is not. Rogan, when politics, Rogan's politics suck. He's uh, one of the biggest disappointments because I started out like a huge Rogan fan and I still love him, still love his show, but uh, he's turned into a real fucking dick. All right. On that note, good friends, good books on a sleepy conscience, peace, love, and understanding. Starting my other channel the, the called Yankee Talk. My Yanks lost uh, 7-5. They made it very exciting. 7-5, bases loaded, one out, Stan hit into a double play. So... Very exciting. Home runs. Let's see. Um, Donaldson hit one and Stan hit one. So, and Judge went three for five. Three for five and another RBI. So, there you go. Greatest guy. Greatest player in baseball. No question. Uh, too much baseball on this channel. It's a Yankee talk a lot more. And plus, on the channel, lots of history. I'm an older dude, so I go back to the Yankees in the 70s. And plus, I know my Yankee history. So, anyway, I could go way back. <laughs> Good friends, good books, and sleepy conscience. Peace, love, and understanding here in Tabor Talk.